Hi guys, this week I sat down to see if I could learn, learn to draw Griffa from Berserk. I took three and a half hours worth of content and squeezed it into a 10 hour video, 10 minute video. We'll see how this works. Uh, I'm in Premiere Pro editing this, that's more work than I care for. Uh, as is the process I've gone through to try and draw uh, Griffith. So what did I do? I took some reference images from Berserk, which I finished reading. Kentaro Miura has passed away, the original author and creator of the eponymous manga. Uh, there won't be any more. That is official, at least. Uh, and I, as you can see, directly copied some Im images to get a sense of... Um, the second protagonist or the antagonist of the series as you prefer. Uh, he is male, he's androgynous in both action and appearance. Uh, he's more difficult to draw than Guts in my opinion and I thought you know what if I'm going to do something that's weak let's just go right under the bus. Um, so even the process of gathering the reference images to use took longer than I thought it would, and I was surprised by the reluctance I felt internally to, to pursue this, but I decided, you know what, I've started, I'll continue, and once I've continued, I might as well finish. Um, what can I say about his facial features? Um, the way Miura does the lips, he's just got lady <laughs> lips. He has a narrow nose... Uh, and big eyes, which doesn't really separate him from any other manga character. Um, a lot of his expressions are unassuming and appear to be neutral. Griffith is a character that has a plan, it's not a secret. Uh, but what is surprising is what lengths he's prepared to go to to pursue it. Uh, he has curvy, uh, awkward to draw white hair. And his ears are usually slightly visible uh, underneath it. Uh, what more can I say? It's funny how, you know, I wasn't going for 100% accuracy with the reference copying. I'm trying to get like a feel for actually, you know, the landmarks of his face. Um, but as soon as I start drawing without direct reference, it's like I learned nothing at all. But the, but it's he's not that difficult to conceive of. Uh, one thing that should be stated as well is that him being um, feminine but male means that I have to strike a, a, a balance between him looking feminine and masculine. And that is what makes him a difficult character to draw. Uh, he has a nose that is not... It's kind of bigger than I would have thought and pointier than I would have thought. And his eyes are rounder. This is more of a, a berserk Miura thing. He draws faces in a way that's not quite shown in manga. But then berserk isn't a shown in manga. It's not designed specifically for young boys. Um, it's it's quite mature and it's probably held back its sales a little bit. But, you know, I think pound for pound it's the greatest manga out there. And it will be better. The best one forever now that it's never going to be finished, because we can all just imagine whatever ending we bloody well please. Uh, so here I am starting to move on to working without reference to see if I, I've actually learned anything. Uh, you know, what to do with, you know, the, the placement of the eyes, nose and mouth. I want him to have a kind of a not a pronounced chin. I'm not trying to mimic Kentaro Miura's eyes. Uh, that's not something I'm, I'm aiming to do. I'm just trying to get a, a sense of, you can tell who this is, as I would illustrate him, as he would show up in a smiley show. And I found uh, the, the, the less I tried to be accurate, the easier it became to be accurate. Uh, you know, I just drew a little thumbnail of Ash Crimson there. Because they're not so different. They're both men. They're both feminine. Um, I m imagined there'd be quite a lot of fun going on between them if they both showed up in the same place at the same time and this is I think really where it started to click for me um, because it's like I'm trying to get his expression from the kind of expressions I think Griffith would be caught doing and it, it helps me draw his landmarks a bit more accurately um, I'm not sure how hard this was as a, as a, as a thing to do uh, or easy. 
it didn't take me that long to get to a point where I felt like, okay, now I understand what's going on with his head. Uh, and then I start thinking, not with too much concern about costume design. I'm not interested in drawing him in his actual armor. Most people in Berserk change attire as the, the comic moves on. Um, but I'm like, you know, just let me put him in something. Let me give him a cuirass and some armor, and he's got a cape and he's got a sword. Um, I'm just trying to get something that seems appropriate for the mood. Uh, if he comes on the Smiley Show, I'm certainly not drawing him in his super ornate armor uh, that he wears towards the end of Berserk. Uh, and having got a sense for the character, I said, okay, let's just do a page, a Smiley Show page with no dialogue. And let's just let's just have uh, Griffith interact with the cast, predominantly Ash Crimson, because I just imagine that uh, they would have a lot of fun. And then Vegeta would say something controversial, offensive, and or both. And <laughs> yeah, Smiley would just stay out of the way of what happens next. Uh, it's it's been a while since I did a page layout. Um, that was an enjoyable experience. I'm considering making a second video talking about just the page layout by itself. Because this this whole content's been sped up by 2,000%. Um, it's very misleading to, to show people, you know, drawing stuff. But you're drawing it at a speed that is just going to demoralize. People like me, who have to sit there and try and figure out how to do it in real time... Uh, mistake by agonizing mistake um i did enjoy iteratively building up the page um and getting i mean i don't know where i'm even pulling these these manga trope these shortcut um things i'm doing like i'm drawing like ash crimson with a cat mouth like i've <laughs> i know where i got that from i've been playing anime games and like you know smiley's just here like praising the sun why because well he's not going to say anything so i'm going to draw something stupid that i don't have to commit to and uh, I just wanted everyone to be smiling and to Vegeta to have a smile as well. Uh, but he's actually like, you know, this is hot garbage. Uh, and this is when both Ash and Griffith, who are the kind of characters that could switch on, on, a, on a moment's notice, um, switch on a moment's notice. And I did enjoy doing these little cutaways of both Ash and Griffith looking <laughs> super suspect uh, and quite scary. Um... Oh my god, I need to do this so much more. Um, but what it is, is that realizing the idea is fantastic, but rendering it accurately is a real pain in the ass. The bar keeps going up every year, and I am not, you know, catching up to this. But yeah, fun times. Um, do I feel like I can put a bow on Drawing Griffith from that Smiley Show page? Not really, so I thought, you know what, let's do another... Okay, let's do, let's do a full body picture of Griffith. Um, even though really the head is the only thing that is of import to me, let's at least try his crazy, you know, metal feathered armor. Um, you know, I'm looking at direct reference, and I'm not too worried about trying to get like you know each link chain link of his armor right or anything like this. This is this is me just doing what I'm prepared to do, knowing... It's almost like a victory lap. I feel like, you know what? I've internalized this quite well. I can externalize it quite well. I've never done armor design. Uh, this is something I would have to do specifically to get more comfortable making this shit up on the fly. Um, I'm in an okay place. More importantly than that, I've realized my goal of... Uh, trying to to reference a character internalize the data and then externalize it this is the kind of thing that makes it easier for me to make more content on a regular basis uh, and I do hope to do so in the future time will tell one of the major problems I have uh, making art is that there's this point where you go from idea to realization of idea, and then you go to high quality rendering. Uh, the high quality rendering is a, is what takes all the time and it's what gets you all the props, but I don't have to do a lot of work for you to get what I'm trying to do. 
and I always want to tap out there because you know what it's it's a good life work balance but here we are this is Griffith um, am I going to do guts next week I'm not making any fucking promises am I going to make Colt Cougar draws more regular because this is almost like YouTube content we will see but here we go uh, this is the Smiley Show page. This is the Griffith thing. You'll see more later. Thanks. Bye.